Okay, everyone, thanks for uh, tuning in to Keystone Archer. Uh, one of the things I just wanted to talk about real quick today was a lot of times when I'm watching these outdoor videos, uh, people want to tie a loop at the end of their cordage. Okay, they want a loop for, uh, I don't know, a, a ridge line or, or a stake out a tent or something like that. But what they're doing is they're using what's a bow line. That seems to be pretty popular. My issue is with that, when you have a bowline knot, you have a knot at the end. I may want to use this cordage for something else, and I don't want that knot to be in there. If it's wet or cold, you're going to have a hard time getting that knot out, and I'd hate to cut cordage. So another option that a lot of people will use is they'll double up the line, of course, and they'll double it over into just an overhand knot, and they'll pull it tight. There's your loop. That's real simple and easy. But again, we have a knot here. I don't want that knot. So what I do, what I've come up with, and I'm sure this is out there a million times, but the same thing, I have an overhand knot, and I got probably, I don't know, six, eight inches of extra cordage along the end here. But I'll just loop it over. Okay, and there's my loop right here. But I'm not gonna close this knot. I'm gonna take this tag end here, I'm gonna take the tag end and bring it back up through that opening and then I'll tighten it down okay now I've still got my loop and it's not going anywhere it's it's that's a tight that's a tight loop but when I'm done if I don't want that loop anymore and I want to use this cord for something else all I have to do is pull this tag in that's still sitting here pull it through and I've got my cordage back